Hello everyone, this is Professor J. Kim. Today we're going to make this the Adobe Animate file using Motion Twin in Adobe Animate. So let's watch what we're going to have. On the controls menu, I'm going to test that in my browser. Okay, travel your word, waiting about three seconds, and it will keep playing. Okay, so um, please download the file from the, uh, uh, the link I provided in my description. And don't forget to subscribe my channel, hit the like button, and set the alarm for my latest video. Then let's get started. Okay, so first please download this Photoshop file um, from the link uh, I provided. Uh, this is about kind of travel uh, promotion. Okay, so there are multiple layers. So what we're going to do is, uh, once you have the, this download file and open in Photoshop, and go to Adobe Animate, and we're going to create one file, 1280 pixel by 720, and 30 frame rate, and HTML5 canvas, and create it. Okay, now, let me double click my hand tool, so I can uh, fit my screen, my uh, movie file. To the screen then back to Photoshop select the background layer first and select all so I'm gonna copy this and back to Adobe Animate and let me rename this layer as a BG background layer and let me paste it edit and paste in center okay so I got it now I'm going to migrate either all the individual layers to the um, uh, separate layer uh, in Animate. So um, I will just uh, fast forward. Okay, so I moved everything from Photoshop PSD file to this Adobe Animate. So there are uh, one, two, three, four, five, six layers. So I'm going to just uh, lay out it first as uh, like yeah, this Photoshop file. So my travel your world on top right, my airplane on top right, uh, travel on the um, uh, top left, and then uh, my first image, my second image, and my third image. Maybe you go down here, somewhere there. Okay, so you can just uh, lay out it uh, as you wish. So I think I'm okay with this. So now uh, I'm ready to animate it. So this time we're gonna use the other uh, motion twin only. So let's see. So first I'm gonna animate these three the Polaroid photos. So I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is highlight the first keyframe, go to insert menu, and create motion twin. I will do the same thing on the image number two, on frame number one, insert, create motion twin. First keyframe of the image number one, insert, create motion twin. Now select all these image layers by holding down the shift key. You can select all three and then your playhead on the frame number 30, which is one second mark, and now choose keyframe. Okay, so nothing is happening yet. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. Okay, so uh, let me place my time indicator at the very beginning. What I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, select my image number 1, 2, 3. So image number 1. I'm going to move it out of this my stage. My image number 2. Image number 3. Okay. Since we apply the motion twin, uh, as you move, you see the path. What I'm going to do is, let me place my um, uh, mouse cursor on this path. So once you uh, hover your mouse cursor on the path, you will see the um, uh, kind of upside down arc. Keep pressing your mouse button and drag it like that. Any direction, this way or that way. Okay, I'll do the same thing for this. All right, and this, like that. So it is happening like this. I think this is kind of a little too slow. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reduce the other time duration. So select the second keyframe, hold down the command key, you see that, and drag it down to 15. This one too. 
and that one just like that okay looks good and then also at the very beginning of each keyframe uh, at the first keyframe let me choose my free transform tool I'm gonna rotate it a little bit maybe not too much this one too like that and that one in that direction so this will happen okay so my first three images is done next I want to uh, animate my airplane so my plan is once these three images the other Polaroid film uh, photos are settled down then I want to have my airplanes coming in so I'm gonna select my first keyframe of my airplane and keep pressing I'm gonna move it to frame number 15 there then I'm gonna change the location of that but before you do that let's try this select your first keyframe I mean the uh, on the frame number 15 on your airplane insert create motion twin and then maybe I'm um, uh, maybe not too slow not too fast just about the one second so on frame number 45 let me insert the keyframe okay then highlight the frame number 15 which is the first keyframe of this airplane I'm gonna move it to there and then let me change the path like we did just like that and then also I'm gonna choose my free transform tool I'm gonna to rotate it following the path like that okay then still your first keyframe is selected in your properties panel you will see that orient to path checkbox check and see what happens see the airplane follows the path that's good now after that I want to show my text travel your word so like we did for the airplane keep pressing on your keyframe and move it to frame number 45 then insert create motion twin again maybe a two second mark and insert the keyframe on frame number 45 the first keyframe of travel your word the text I'm going to move it out of a stage and let me change the path like this also I want to make it a little bit bigger shift and make it bigger so it is coming in like this but also at the same time let me select this click on your travel your word the text image and in your properties panel color effect choose the alpha down to zero unlike a classic twin once you apply the emotion twin your second keyframe follows the alpha value so select the um, uh, second keyframe click on your image and change your alpha value back to 100 so it is fading in like this so so far this is what we have so it's good but uh, the only problem is that at the end I only say this travel your word I want to see everything so highlight the end of frame number 60 which is uh, two second mark on the airplane layer which is the other second layer from the top hold on the shift key click on the bottom layer then insert frame just a frame and see what happens it's good so now let's test the movie on the web browser so under controls menu test movie in browser so uh, it is playing beautifully but the problem is uh, it keeps looping uh, without any kind of uh, the gap in between so I want to make it stay a little longer so people have enough time to read the information to watch the um, the whole thing so let me go back to my animate and my timeline so uh, my entire uh, duration is about two seconds so I want to allow to have maybe a three more seconds so up to five second mark highlight frame number 150 
hold down the shift key, everything, go to insert, just a frame. And let's watch. Control, test the movie in browser. One, two, three. Okay. One, two, three. Okay, so it looks good. If you want to export this as an MP4 file for the, your social media or the YouTube, then you can go back and make sure your media encoder is open, this media encoder. Then I'm going to go back to File, Export, Video and Media. And then I'm not going to change the settings 1280 by 720. And then just to make sure your format is H264 and then preset and then your location is going to be, uh, yep, motion twin. I'm going to rename it as a travel, just a travel. Save it and export it. Okay, so let me check my folder. So, uh, see, I got travel.mp4, which is this. That's beautiful. Simple, but pretty uh, effective. So, you can upload this to uh, any social media, like your Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, uh, maybe on your YouTube channel. So, I hope that you enjoyed this video tutorial and that you can use it for your future project. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Shoo, shoo, shoo.